physics. It's cool. All right, so let's talk about the parts that make up this remote. So I've gone ahead and drawn out all the schematics and the names of the schematics and what they're measured in for each of the different components for the, the remote. So the first major component that's used in pretty much every electronic is the resistor. And it's drawn with this symbol here, and it's measured in ohms. It's just a small, little, round, cylindrical object that you put into a circuit. And what it does is it f resists the flow of electrons. And that, in return, causes the electricity to go through different voltages. And that's how you can control different things with different electronics. The next major component is the capacitor. And capacitors are basically like little batteries. So they're made up of two conductive plates that are really, really close to each other, but they aren't touching. And in between those is a semiconductor. So it's like um, silicon or something like that. And that allows us to send a signal through the capacitor, and it'll charge up like a battery, and then it'll be released. It doesn't last quite as long as a battery, but it's just like... The next thing is a diode, and um, this is a light-emitting diode, and they are basically they're what we know as LEDs. And these, when we send electricity through them, they'll only go one way. So the electrons will only fl uh, flow through the LED one way, and that's what they call polarized. So they have a positive and negative direction. And when the electrons flow through the diode, it causes photons to be released, which we see as light waves. The next thing is the IC here. This is called an integrated circuit, and it's basically just a big black box. And inside that black box, it has tons of different circuits and components in it that do basic operations, like counting and um, pulsing and stuff like that. And they're used pretty much in everyday electronics. So there's one in the remote, there's one in the camera we're filming with, and there's probably thousands in the TVs. The next thing that we have here is very basic, and it's a physical momentary switch. So this is like a button on a keyboard, or um, a button to press play on a, like an iPod or something. Those, when you press on the button, it'll allow the electricity to go through, and Danny will talk about that later. One of the most important parts of the remote is the transistor and this is basically an amplifier so it takes the signals that are sent to the LEDs and it makes them a lot stronger and that's what allows us to stand say 50 feet back from a TV press the button and have it turn off it's because it's going through this transistor and it's amplifying the signal so this is a very important part of the remote the remote sends infrared light through its LEDs it's the spectrum above visible light we can't see it with our eyes, but it's picked up by cameras, and that's how we see it. When you push the button, it opens up the circuit, allowing electricity to flow through it. Then it sends the infrared signals to the TV to try and match uh, the code and uh, be able to turn the TV on and off. Some TVs have an easier code, which makes it faster to turn them on and off, and other TVs have a harder code, so it takes a longer time for them to be turned on and off. Okay, so here we have an oscilloscope, and it, uh, it shows us waves. And we have it hooked up to the remote right now, so when we press the button, it'll show us the uh, pulses of the uh, infrared waves that it's sending. So not right now, we're going to press the button and show you the waves. They're going really fast, but uh, those are the waves. What's up with the TV? So I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> and then what I had said was, I was like, I asked a bunch of questions, and he answered them, and then we turned off the TV, and he was like, I don't know what's going on. He, this is physics remote turning the TV off at Target prank. Let's go. Keep it rolling. And I'm
walking fast, hard is booming. Got a smile on my face that's booming. No sky and I'm fine with that. I get lost in the middle and I'm blind to that. Because the day is a day that I've waited for. Patiently, painfully out the door. But I'm here now and I can't wait for the first drop. All I have is a time and I won't stop. Staring, the clouds are bearing. All the way to the ocean bottom tearing. And I'm very aware that I stand alone. And I can't compare when I feel at home. And time and time and time again. I'm a rewind as I define the wind. New rain, my face, this place is perfect. All in all, it's all been worth it. I prefer not to sleep. Trying to BJ's to go turn off their things. What things? Their TVs. Remember when I did that during the Super Bowl at Kevin's house? Kevin Kenny. You know Kevin Kenny, Miss Cotter. Miss Cotter knows. Can you go quick? See it? Yeah. Oh, Left BJ's. We got some burgers and we filmed a little bit on Danny's phone. But um, Danny went and used the restroom, and I was waiting there after we paid the bill. And I was turning it off, and somebody was just like one of the guys behind the counter kept on turning off all the TV. I mean, turning them, turning all the TVs back on. And I'd turn them off again, and then somebody turned them all on again. Kept on doing this a couple of times. And then when Danny went and used the restroom, this guy in like a red button-up shirt and black pants came up to the table and he tapped me on the shoulder and he says if you turn off our tv one more time i'm gonna have to ask you to leave and I looked at him smiled and said okay and then he <laughs> walked away so i mean i don't think they were too happy and i also don't think i'm allowed in bj's anymore all right so we're going to our final place and we're going there because everyone that goes to mills has probably been there we're going to thought it would be a good idea to change their menus to tv screens we'll see what they think about that once we're done there Ah! <laughs> See